everyone. So in the first video, I went through how to change your menu options, including renaming your menu items, um, adding content, adding tool links, and then how to reorganize. So this video is going to be a little bit shorter, hopefully. Um, and I'm just going to show you now that we have our content area here that I created and you can see again, it's hidden and nothing's in it. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to create a folder. So it's kind of content within content. Um, here, we have a lot of different options. Um, and David Wolf will tell you this too if you have a chance to meet with him, but really in Blackboard, they give you way more than what you need. So concentrate just on those two or three, maybe four things that you're going to be using all of the time. The first one is going to be content. I have a different, a content folder, sorry. I have a different video on how to build a module. Um, modules for me, I feel like they take a little bit more time. They don't copy over well if you're copying from one class to another, and I think they're a little bit more complicated. So typically, I do not use those. Um, instead, I'm going to show you here how to do just a content folder. And then the next video, we'll talk about adding items and files. And the video after that, we'll talk about adding um, assessments. So just the content folder for today. I have satellite internet, so it takes a little while. There we go. All right. So when I do a content folder for students, um, I basically put two things. First, you have to have a name. You'll notice that it's a required field. For this, I'm just going to call it Unit 1. And let's say that Unit 1 is... Um, <laughs> you can see what my other ones have been before. Um, I'll put summary and response essays for this one. Okay, then in the box below, you want to give some information to students. Um, I put here usually the student learning outcomes that are linked to this unit, just sort of, sort of so my students know what their goals are. But if you want to keep it really simple, it really comes down to two sentences. The first sentence should be what the material is about. So this unit contains assignments and oh let's let's reverse that lessons and assignments um, leading up to your summary and response essay. Forgive me for typing slow. I'm holding the microphone with my other hand. So now they know what's what's in this folder. Um, they know that it's going to be leading up to that particular essay. A couple other options are things like this unit is for chapter eight. Um, this unit will talk about um, these particular concepts and list two or three of them. Just so that they sort of have an idea. Then the second sentence that I recommend putting in is when everything will be due from this unit folder. Um, I typically have a unit folder and not just one folder for each week, but you can do it however you want. Um, for me, because of the way that I teach my class, uh, you know, one unit might last two weeks or three weeks. So if you have units that are set up that way, um, and you won't have way too much stuff where it'll be confusing for people, um, then that would be good. If you want to do one for each week and just, you know, name it week, week 9, week 10, week 11, you can do that too. But as long as you tell the students what the folder is going to have and then when everything is due. So here, everything in this folder will be due 
by 11.59 p.m. Um, Saturday, April 4. Okay, I think that that's a Saturday. Yes, it is. All right. Um, and then I hit submit. So now I've given my students information. Here is the title of our folder. Um, one sentence about what's in there. One sentence about when everything is due. Two tips for this. Um, number one, pick one day and have everything due on that day. Um, you don't have to do that, but I do recommend it. One day of the week. <laughs> one day of the week. Um, many of our classes when we go online will be asynchronous. That means that students will be doing things in their own time um, and not all together the way we would in, a, in, a, in, in an in-person classroom. So because of that, um, they if they've taken an online class before, 11.59 means the end of the day. Many teachers use that as a, a due date or a due time, um, whatever you want to call it. it. It's when things are due. The other thing is that it is a default um, that you can have when you go to set up assignments to have things due right at the end of the day. And it's kind of an easy default to use. I'll be showing you guys that in our next video. Um, the third reason I do that is so that they have um, the whole week or possibly two weeks to work on something. If I, I find that if I try to have like, this is due on Monday, this is due on Wednesday, this is due on Friday, it, it becomes quite confusing. So for my classes, um, I think for, for mine, um, I'm going to go in here to just show you guys what my folders look like in real, in real time, in my real class rather, right? So all of, I picked Mondays, so this folder has things due, one thing due every Monday. Um, some of those are small assignments and then lead, kind of leading up to a larger one. Um, this one, again, has things due Mondays. And then I've given them the goals. You can see it looks a little bit different than the one I set up in the practice, um, but the thing is the most important thing is just consistency just make all the folders look the same so if i build another content folder here again build content and then new page content folder so this time i'm going to call it unit two um unit two argument and then here Again, two sentences just like I had before. This folder contains items leading whoops, to your persuasive essay. Everything will be due. And let's say this one I want to give them two weeks. So my last one was April 4th. Um, this time I'm going to go April 18th. I almost set the date to April 18th. That would have been a mistake. Um, due by 11.59 p.m. Um, also funny is to watch everybody turn things in at 12.01, 12.02, 12.05. I don't really have a problem with that. Um, 11.59 p.m. April 18th. If I could spell, there we go. April 18th, submit. Okay, so now I have two folders. They're set up the same way. Um, I have one sentence about what's in the folder and one sentence about when everything is due just letting my students know. The other thing that you will notice is now these boxes over here that I talked about last time, the link is still hidden from students, but we don't have this full gray box because now we have content. 
So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to add things to those folders. Um, first, we're going to focus just on items and files. We'll talk about the differences between those. And then the video after that, we will talk about um, assignments and discussion boards and how to set those up. So that's it. I hope this helped.